Golf Central on YouTube. Brought to you by the Chrome Soft Golf Ball from Callaway. Dramatic final day of the FedEx Cup season. Rory McIlroy comes from six shots back at the start of this fourth round to overtake Scotty Scheffler and become the first to have ever won three FedEx Cup titles. McIlroy, by the way, started this tournament on Thursday with a triple at number one. He was four over through two and ten shots back at that point. McIlroy with the media. Honestly, I wasn't really giving myself much of a chance teeing off uh, in the fourth round. I thought, you know, silver lining was I was playing in the last group so I could l at least keep an eye on what he was doing if, if things didn't quite work out for him. And, um, you know, thankfully I was in that last group because, you know, I was able to put some pressure on him early on. And then, you know, that coupled with him not having his, his best stuff today, you know, it was actually a, you know, I felt like going into the back nine, um, not that it was mine to lose, but I, I had all the momentum and, and uh, you know, going out today, I was like, if I can get it within three going into the back nine, I thought that that would be, you know, a really good front nine holes. And, um, you know, I think we were tied for the lead on the, you know, on the 10th tee. So, um, yeah, incredible day, incredible week. You know, four over through two holes, uh, a ten shots out of the lead at that point to to claw my way back and end up winning the winning the tournament. Um, incredible, just a uh, just a real um, you know really proud of my resilience and how I sort of handled that start and um, just sort of stuck my head down and and kept going all week and, and took advantage of the opportunity that I was given today. All right, we will go right into questions. If you could just raise your hand, we'll get a microphone over to you. Go to Cam over here first. Yep. Uh, Rory, could you speak a little bit about the comment about Tom Kim overcoming his, his quad start? And also, wasn't resilience sort of the story of your season with the four top tens in the majors and, and no wins? I mean, wasn't this sort of a fitting way to win? I thought so. Um... Yeah, I you know I have to give Tom Tom Kim a little bit of credit because you know he started with a quad at uh, Greensboro and end, ended up winning a few weeks ago and you know for whatever reason that just sort of popped into my mind on Thursday uh, and yeah look I've I've said all along this year this season felt very very similar to 2019 uh, you know I played great golf um, you know I had some good wins but you know didn't didn't pick off a major, but I felt like, you know, Harry said it to me on the 18th green today. He goes off, you know, all the good golf you played this year, you know, this is, you deserve this. So, um, yeah, look, it's, it's really cool to do something in golf that no one's ever done before. Obviously the, the history of the FedEx cup isn't as long as the history of some other tournaments, but, um, you know, to be walking out of here three times a champion, uh, it's very, very satisfying and, and something that, that I'm incredibly proud of. All right, let's go right here to Rex. Rory, and I know you don't want to compare the three of them, they all mean something different, but given what this year has been like, just for you, not only competitively, but off the golf course, does it hold any special meaning being able to do it, do it here? I think so. Um, look, it's, it's, been a, it's been a tumultuous time for, for the world of men's professional golf in particular. Um, and I've been right in the middle of it. You know, I've <laughs> picked a great time to go on the PGA Tour board. Uh, um, but yeah, I've, I've, been, I've been in the thick of things and um, <laughs> I guess every chance I get, I'm, I'm trying to, to defend what I feel is the best place to play elite professional golf in the world. and. Um, you know, it, it, it's in some way, you know, it's in some ways fitting that, that I was able to, to get this done today to, you know, sort of round off a year that, um, that has been very, very challenging and different. Not many people move ahead of Tiger Woods in any category in golf, but Rory's done just that. He mentioned 2019. Remember the year before Tiger with that the comeback win. That was at East Lake. McElroy, by the way, in bonus FedEx Cup money, all told, has made more than 50 million bucks. 18 large today. And this from Tiger Woods. Rory starts the week off with a triple, never gave up. Now he is 
playoff finale champion. Heck of a year for Scotty, too. Great way to close out the season. Take you back to January. It is hard to fathom, given all that has happened, but 2022 started out like so many years with stunning views of the Pearl of the Pacific and a level of play just as breathtaking. Cam Smith winning at a record 34 under, and you could only shake your head and wonder, is golf really that easy? He's just that good, and he would prove it again at the players. Then later at St. Andrews, his final round 64, one of the best in open history, spoiling the feel-good story of Rory as the righteous defender of the established order, fending off the malevolent threat. As special as it all was for Smith, he wasn't the breakout star this season. Scotty Scheffler had never won on tour until the WM Phoenix Open in February. Now he's a Masters champion, as well as world number one, though massively disappointed right now. Among the moments and shots, we'll remember Scheffler's chip in third at Augusta in that final round, flipping the momentum away from Smith. Others, well, we'll go back to January in Rolf's beloved Hawaii. Hideki Matsuyama's three-wood was something to behold at the Sony. Jordan Spieth along the cliffs of Pebble Beach. In his year of living dangerously, Smith taking on a dicey right hole Sunday at 17 at Sawgrass. And I mean, he likes the heat. Sam Burns home run putts at Innisbrook and later Colonial to beat Scheffler. Mito Pereira's tee shot, 72nd hole, Southern Hills, opening the door for Justin Thomas to lift his second Wanamaker trophy. Rory McIlroy in Canada when the tour needed a boost from its staunchest proponent. Matthew Fitzpatrick, 72nd hole, Sandy Lyle-like bunker shot at the U.S. Open. And Tiger over the Swilkin Bridge with love from the Scottish fans over the hallowed grounds where he'd written a chunk of golf history. Will Zalatoris' big putt in Memphis on his way to his first win. And what are they going to say now? They're going to say that kid can play. Among others, Tony Finau, Xander Shoffley, Max Homa, Burns, Billy Horschel, even Tom Kim went to another level, though not yet at the majors, but all of it seemed to get swallowed, lost under the tidal wave of live golf defections, speculation and debate. Remember, in February, it looked as though the tour had staved off the upstart, but then Dustin Johnson changed course and left. So did Phil Mickelson, followed by Bryson DeChambeau, Brooks Kepka, Sergio Garcia, Patrick Reed and Henrik Stenson, among others. They poached seven of the last 12 Masters champions and four world number ones, former world number ones. The PGA Tours responded with substantial systemic changes, but professional golf has never been more fractured. A season of suspensions, lawsuits, innuendo, rumor about who might be next to leave, bad blood, and broken relationships. All of it potentially impacting the presidents and Ryder Cups and eligibility into the majors. 2022. The year when the foundation of professional golf, as we have known it for a long time, was shaken to its core. Today, though, a thrilling reminder of why we hang in and why we love it. Rory McIlroy winning the FedEx Cup, out dueling, running down. Scotty Scheffler just got a text from 76ers coach Doc Rivers, who loves golf. He said, amazing final round. Sports, you cannot write your story until it's finished.